Hi, I'm Devin McClure with Mason County Spotlight, and I'm here with Chaotic Mike Coleman. We just finished watching one of his acrylic pour workshops here at Ludington Area Center for the Arts. And hi, Mike. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing all right. So how long have you been doing these classes for? Uh, about three months now. I get everybody. I get beginners. Uh, I get people that don't do painting at all, but they do other forms of artwork that are part of the art center. Uh, right now, working on doing like a mommy and me class for some of the younger guys, but typically eight and above are, are more than welcome to come check out one of my classes. No experience necessary. You're not from this area, but your wife is from here. So how long have you been in the Ludington area working around here? As I started painting when we moved here, uh, people told me that it was really cold and that I better find a hobby. So I started painting and uh, I've been painting now for seven years. It's been growing every, ever since, every year. I, I hear it all the time. I have no artistic talent. Um, and I think people need a purpose and a sense of creativity. So I wanted to offer something that was easy enough for all skill levels and let them have fun and create something really pretty. I work for community mental health. I work mostly with the developmentally disabled population, uh, helping them find jobs, letting them have fun. So I do a lot of art and crafts with them too. That also helped inspire me to gain a little more confidence with my teaching abilities and to venture out to do more for the community too. If you want to check out Chaotic Mike, you can find him at chaoticmike.com. Like so. Just a little bit. Okay. Yep, that's a pouring medium. It's a, basically like a binder extender. And the binder extender will thin the paint but it won't uh, deteriorate the paint. A lot of people use water, and that will break down the binder, and the paint will crackle and flake off. What color do you want the most prevalent? Blue. So I would do quite a bit of blue, and then I would do your sharp contrast. Then you're gonna wanna go to your next darkest color. So now you're gonna want to stack again. So do your blue and your white. All right, then you can do it um, by just setting the canvas right on top, pick a spot. And we'll just lift this up. And lift it up. You can kind of spread it around if you want some grizzles in there. And now you just want to slowly manipulate it. If you see a color that you want to keep, you want to go the opposite way. If I want my orange, I'm going to go left. If I want my pink, I'm going to go right. And you just want to slowly manipulate it back and forth. 